Hi everyone, I'm Chris. You've been watching my content. If you're here, you've probably watched my stuff before. Um, I haven't shown my face. That's not out of any particular reason. I just never needed to. Um, I was going through reinstalling my Fallout 4 because I lost all of my work. Uh, my mod stopped working. It's the Sanctuary Settlement that you've probably seen. It's it's dead. I I tried so hard to get my mod list working. I tried so hard, but the uh, the update that brought in the Creation Club, I think it's called, absolutely fucked my shit up. I tried everything. Like, I updated everything. No luck. So, I was going re through I did a fresh install of Fallout, gonna get some new mods, the yada yada, and I'm gonna give you a quick walkthrough on how to do it while I'm here. Like, why not? Uh, for those of you who were already, like, relatively experienced, all I'm going to be doing is going through how to get to your Fallout directory, um, the process of installing Fallout 4 Script Extender, and the, pro uh, the process of installing Nexus Mod Manager as well. So, if you already know how to do all of that, this video probably won't help you at all. Um, there's probably plenty of other guides that are better than this, but I'm going to do my best in this one. Um, content that's actually useful to someone. So, first things first, Steam. Um, I don't know if there's even a non-Steam version of Fallout. Hello Adonis, how are you? We have a visitor. Say hello, you little shit. Say hello. Oh. I have food, and he's trying to eat it. Um, so, open up your Steam. You've freshly installed Fallout. You want to right-click, hit Properties. Go through that for you again. Properties right at the bottom. You want to navigate up the top across two local files. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, the reason my Fallout directory is so big is simply because I've installed that optional DLC, uh, the the uncompressed texture one. That is a vanilla thing. That's just why that's so big. Anyway, you want to go to Browse Local Files, which will take you to your Fallout 4 directory. You can navigate here yourself through your normal method, which would be my computer, program files, Steam, Steam apps, Fallout 4. Uh, I just find this method's faster, you know, one, two, three, you're here. So you'll probably want to like side screen that, get rid of your Steam. The next step would be Fallout 4 Script Extender, it's just good to get that out of the way. Um, so you'll navigate to, just legit just search F4SE into Google, the first result is Fallout 4 Script Extender. Um, download this link here, the 7-zip archive one, if you don't have 7-zip it is a free extraction tool. Uh, it's fantastic. Uh, unlike WinZip, where it gives you that pop-up if you bug it up a little bit, reliably use 7-Zip. So if you don't have 7-Zip, probably get it. Uh, I've taken the liberty of already doing this. Uh, I don't even know what I have installed here. Let's hope nothing embarrassing shows up on screen. So you want to right-click on Fallout 4 Script Extender, 7-Zip, Extract 2. I prefer to do it this way simply so I know where all the files went. You can do it however you're used to. Open up that open up the folder, and this is what you're after. So you want to open up your Fallout 4 script extender, and that's the version, or the date, I don't even know which one that is, version. This is the stuff you're after. So what you want to do with this, is just copy all of it, or you can just click and drag if you'd feel like it. I prefer copying. Um, open up the Fallout directory that we just opened up in Steam, and you're just going to paste it. You're just going to throw it straight in there. If it asks you to replace anything, hit yes. Uh, in my case, it did not. That's fine. Now, what you might want to do is... Now that you've done that, your, your Fallout 4 is script extended. It's that easy. The next thing you'll want to do is go into your Steam. You can do this through Nexus Mod Manager, but I've had trouble with it before. So go into your Steam, hit Add a Game, Add an on-Steam game. And browse through to... What in the world is going on here? Ah, Fallout 4 Script Extender Loader. That's the thing we just copied across in there. And add that as a non-Steam game. So there it is. Add selected programs. Done. Uh, go back to, you know, get to your library, navigate to wherever that ended up. So F4SE. Right click on that now. Properties. Rename it to whatever you feel appropriate. In my case, I use Fallout 4... F4SE. Uh, you can hit choose icon and actually just yoink the Fallout icon. And um, there you go. It looks like Fallout to you. Oh, got rid of that. Boom. Done. Okay. 
close that and now you have a nice clean Fallout 4. So whenever you type in Fallout like you normally would, you are offered your vanilla Fallout 4, which is launched through Steam, and your launch the script extended version, which is probably what you're after for almost every mod. Like I, I it baffles me how many mods use Fallout 4 script extender, if not all of them. I'm not 100%, I'm just talking out my ass at this point. Okay, from there, you're, you've got your script extender installed, you're ready to go. Now you want some mods. And the easiest place to get them, if you're not using the Creation Club, I personally don't, I, you know, it's, whatever. You want to go to Nexus Mod Manager, well, Nexus Mods, my apologies. Because this is where all your mods are. This is, this is the happy place. I've actually turned Adblock off for Nexus, mod mani uh, Nexus Mods. That's just out of kind of a mutual respect for them. Every other website I have it on, but, you know, Nexus Mods provided for all of us. So, uh, you want to go up to the top. It, you probably will have to create an account and sign in. Don't panic, you'll never get an email from them or anything. I, I've been a mod manager, f like, member for, oh, like, five years, I think. Something like, like, just a ridiculously long time. And um, I've never received an email from them. So don't worry if that you're worried about your inbox getting spammed or anything. Nothing to worry about. So you might have to create an account. Once you've done that, along the top here, you'll see a nice orange box. They've actually updated their website semi-recently, so it's much easier to use for you new people. Uh, and hit install Nexus Mod Manager. You'll install this just like any other program. Uh, it, you know, select whichever one's appropriate for you here. Um, you'll install this like any other program. Very, very simple installer. Choose where you want it, install it, etc. I'm going to be installing it on my SSD simply because that's where my Fallout is and I want everything to be together. I have a SSD solely for Fallout because I really don't want to lose all my work again. I lost 200 hours of work on that save, all because of a bugger up. And I'll be going through how to prevent your Fallout 4 from updating, that way you never have to worry about your mods. Once you get that sweet spot, all the mods you wanted, it'll never update Steam, through Steam again, meaning that your mods never break. Great! Now that I've downloaded the file, your file might look different to mine, that's fine. Now that that's all downloaded, you're going to run this thing. You install it like any other program, there's nothing fancy here. You run through the installer, accept agreements you don't read. Navigate to where you want it, I've just made a folder for it. That way I know where it is if I ever have to modify anything. Haha. <laughs> um, blah blah blah. You generally want to just leave all of this, you really don't have to do much on your end. It's really really simple, I am so sorry. Um, new features yada yada. Okay, and then just leave that ticked. She'll launch. Uh, okay, so what will happen for you, I've had Nexus Mod Manager installed in the past, so it already knows where all my stuff is. However, you will probably see this. This is what you'll see. Uh, if you do have any of these games installed, you uh, be my guest, you can go through this. I currently have Skyrim installed, but I'm not modding Skyrim. I've got Fallout. That's all I need. You want to hit the tick, and you want to just stop. And then hit OK. Once that's done, I don't want anything else other than Fallout. Hit OK. And we're in the Mod Manager. Okay, yours might not have all of these categories. That is a simple, when you add your first mod, it will ask you if you would like to use Nexus Mods recommended category system. I like it. It's, it's effective. It's really easy to use. And I would recommend it. However, if you are a um, more organized than that and you don't mind sitting there setting up your own personalized folders be my guest like don't don't accept theirs you can make your own it's very very simple you got a whole category tab here you can do whatever you need to do all right now that we've got nexus mod manager installed you're going to want some mods so mod manager mod manager does all the hard work and you can launch fallout 4 through the script extender built in However, every time I've done that, it launches an old version of Script Extender and isn't very helpful. So I personally prefer not to use this. I like to install all of my mods and then launch the game through Steam without having to launch Nexus Mod Manager every time. And the method I'm showing you is very, very simple in doing that. All of your mods will still be active. All Nexus Mod Manager does is it do takes out the hard yards and does all the hard work for you. That way, it's, it's all done and you can just launch it through that launcher we just made. Alright, so we've just we've covered how to install Nexus Mod Manager, now you want to install a mod. I'm going to use the unofficial Fallout 4 patch as an example, as it has all the 
bits and bobs you would have to do in another mod anyway. So you're on the Nexus Mod Manager, you found the mod you're after, in my case, Fallout 4 patch. Uh, I would highly recommend getting this, it is a very, very helpful utility and you'll find your game crashes way less. It's a fantastic work by the community, just good stuff. So what you want to do is you're going to scroll down, generally you want to have a quick look at the blurb up here, it just gives you a rough idea of what you're getting into. Um, scroll down a little bit further and normally the mod will have basic requirements uh, and what you've been up to, like what you'll need, sorry. Um, here we go, installation requirements. This, this particular version requires all DLC, I'm sure you can find some without. Um, I have all the DLC, not a big deal for me. Usually you'll find extra steps you might have to take other than simply hitting install right here. In which case, this one has a particular load order that needs to be followed. Some mods do, some mods, a lot of mods are actually just fine being thrown wherever they like. Um, it doesn't help. This will be fine. So, I'll go through the installation from here. I will go through load order. And you pretty much after that, you are good to just mod to your heart's content. As long as you make sure you read the extra steps, you're good to go. So let's do a little quick, um, you want to click over to files now that you've read the first page. Mod manager download is what you're after for most mods. Uh, this is where you can choose to donate and support the mod if you've found one that you really like. If you really like titties, you donate to the titty. Um, then you'll go across to Nexus mod manager and just here it will begin. Okay, maybe not. Ah, I forgot to mention this earlier, the Nexus Mod Manager account that you made earlier, you will need to use to sign into here, it's just how they keep the website and the Mod Manager synced up. No biggie. So I'm going to log in through here and then I'll be back. Okay, we're back, I've just signed in, everything's peachy, I forgot my password, but that's okay. Um, I'm all signed in, we've got the happy little green man down here, awesome. You want to click through to your download manager, if it hadn't already automatically started, hit the plus, I mean the play button. Everything resumes, you'll see the name of your mod, your speed, etc. All of that stuff, all well and good, you probably have seen this sort of thing before. Once that's all downloaded, it will show up in one of these categories if you chose that option. Uh, and we'll get to that once it's finished. Okay, it's all downloaded, and now you'll see, up in this bug fixes category here, we have a little plus one. This little guy is my best friend. It just shows me where they are. You can expand this category now, and you'll see the unofficial Fallout 4 patch. You'll get a little quick summary of the um, the page. It's in HTML, um, and it uses a language familiar to them. So in here, it sometimes gets a bit wonky, and might look a bit different to the main page. You'll notice some images haven't loaded, and it's very basic. You'll notice there's some little fuck-ups here. That's just the program's different. They're different. Um, that's fine. You know, usually you can get the information you need from there. What you're going to want to do to install it is really simple. Click on it. Uh, if you want to rename it, click it once. You're good to go. In my case... Um, I know what it is. So that's the artificial Fallout 4 patch. I like to rename all my mods because some of the mods will come through with like a, a really long name and they'll repeat themselves a few times. Very easy to fix. All you legit have to do is just click the tick. Um, okay, that is a message on my end. I don't know why it says that, considering it's on an SSD and it runs fast as fuck. Now that that's done, that's installed. You'll see the little tick there. It's really that easy. Almost all mods can be installed this way. There are some more complex ones like EMBs and whatnot that sometimes don't support Fallout 4 Nexus, but... Most of the time you're good. For most of your basic general entry level stuff, it's that easy. I know this has taken a bit because I rambled on, but I really wanted to cover all of the bases. That way you didn't sit there. If I like slipped over something really quickly, you'd be like, what the fuck? So hopefully this has helped you. Um, I will launch my game, not through Nexus Mod Manager though. I'm going to actually minimize this now. And we're going to launch it through that Steam shortcut we created. And it should... Don't worry about the command window, that's just script extender. It should install, and we will be able to see in our load order if it's come through. The best way to tell if your, um... Okay. The best way to tell if your script extender has worked is go down to your settings, click that, 
and in the bottom right hand corner of your settings windows it'll say version fallout 4 script extender and then your game version this is good that means that it's working if it doesn't show the fallout 4 script extender then something's gone wrong please go back through the video and walk yourself through it again it was probably just an innocent mistake so now we're going to go into oh wow my saves are still here that's heartbreaking well here is my main save it has five days of work and it is bugged all of my mods are gone anywho um, you can see the game's working. I will just create a... Okay, okay. Achievements are disabled through mods. You can find a mod called Achievements on the Nexus Mod Manager. It simply re-enables achievements when you have mods because for some fucking reason Bethesda thought that was a good idea. So that's fine. You survival playthrough. Other than that, we're done. Good work. You know how to mod Fallout now. Um... Thank you for watching, etc, etc. My entire channel has been demonetized by YouTube in their latest YouTube partner program changes. Uh, because I don't have a thousand subs and I don't have 4,000 hours of watch time. So that's pretty brutal. Um, even if I do hit those milestones, I am not going to monetize my channel anymore. Um, you guys don't deserve to see ads. So, And if YouTube's going to fuck me like that, they don't deserve to serve ads. So that's pretty much it. If you want to support me, legit... I don't want any kind of monetary support, just share the videos around, like, <laughs> I almost said favourite, but like, War. like, subscribe, just watch my videos, man, like, that'd changes. make me happy.